Elon Musk and Jim Cramer. Man, these are two folks I love to read about. You see the articles. I'm going to ask your opinion on them. But right now, you know, I, I did a video a couple weeks ago about the warning, kind of the warning from Elon Musk. And, and he didn't come out right out and say everything. Just a few, you know how Elon does it. He, he goes on X and he says a few little quotes here and there. He'll say a comment about someone who says something. And he did mention something about Jim Cramer. And I wanted to talk about that in this because it's an eye-opening thing for where we're going to moving forward in this market because they've actually agreed for the most part in 2023. And I'm pulling up some of the proof here, talking about what we had. And now all of a sudden at the end of the year, going into 2024, it's a little bit of a divergence here where you're not seeing that same agreement. And I got to tell you, I'm actually on Elon's side now. I was on Jim and Elon's side. And then Jim and Elon kind of split opinions. I'm, I'm on Elon's side. I'll put it on video. We're going to talk about it in this video where this market goes. It's kind of scary stuff. Uh, for those that didn't take advantage of it, Today is it for Code Mo, M-O-E out there. Uh, we're gonna, after this, like I said, it, it lasts up to the end of this year. So if you haven't joined the Stock Mo course down below, take advantage today while you can. And we're gonna be adding updates and everything else moving very quickly. Right now I've been kinda on holiday break, even though I'm putting the videos out and everything else from all the massive content I create because the family's home. My kids are home from college. I want to spend some time with them. But when they go back after next week, it is full steam ahead. A lot of things happening. I'm excited about it. So if you haven't joined the course, get in now. Lifetime access to the course and the courses discord. Uh, and you can come over and do that now. Code Mo at the end to say big. And of course, I do have the Stock Mo Patreon for those who want to follow along with the brand new portfolio. This is different than the course and everything else. This is where you can come over. You can follow along with the new $100,000. Looks like it's going to be aggressive portfolio with options, leverage, and all this stuff. Sign up down below. And the Stock Squad link is down there. All four of us there. You get our trade alerts and a lot of fun. Now, my friend, I got to tell you, I, I, my heart is just full. You guys have been donating to help my friend out. I grew up with him. I, I spent almost every day over at their house. Uh, and I got to tell you, it, 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 it breaks my heart. He, he has throat cancer right now. And uh, he, I, I talked to him today, and he was overjoyed. He was overjoyed with you guys reaching out. Before we came on to kind of help him out, he only had four donations for $70 altogether. And I, I told him I'm going to help him reach his goal. And that's my, you know, his family really took care of me growing up. And we grew up, we all grew up just poor. And so they, they would always take care of me. I remember going over there, getting bottles of Coke and uh, having a lot of fun. And so, you know what, I'll, For just so you guys know, leave a word of encouragement for him. Even if it's only five bucks, uh, he said he, he's writing back to everybody he can, and he's, he's telling him, how, you know, just writing back. So leave him some words of encouragement. He's fighting throat cancer right now, getting chemo. He, you can see it. It's, it's a dire situation, but uh, they need money for food and, and gas back and forth from the hospital, and his wife had to quit her job to help him. Uh, it, it's, it, it's a rough situation. So anybody can help. Leave some words of encouragement, even if it's only five bucks. But let's get let's get him up there. So that link is right down below. I greatly appreciate everyone and what you're doing. And this is a fantastic way to start out the new year by doing something good. So thank you ahead of time. Now we get into this. Invite me to your funeral. Jim Cramer made a bold call on the Nasdaq last month, and even Elon Musk responded. Three ways to bet on this conviction. Now this is an old article. Look at this. We'll go down here. We'll take a look. April fourth. Don't you wish you can go back in time, knowing how the year ended? Wowzers! Jim said what? Jim said, uh, I think he said, invite me to your funeral. Uh, I believe, there it is. Short the NASDAQ and invite me to your funeral, Kramer warns in a recent tweet. I remember talking about this. That was eight months ago, and I did a, a videos on it. I said, who's right? Who's wrong? Is Kramer right? And I went, oh, the market's going to crash. And at this point, uh, you, you know the market didn't crash. It went on to do some wild things. But here's something. Here's the, what I like. You had Elon Musk who came out and put a partying face emoji. No surprise, you know. So he was agreeing with him back then in his own way, partying like, hey, that's great if it happens. I don't want to try to put words in his mouth, but it wasn't like he was coming out with warning signs and what? I don't agree with this. But so, and we know they both, if you look at it that way, we're right moving forward. Now we go forward to December 22nd. No, this is just a week ago, folks. This made me a little bit more nervous. The Kramer, the Kramer prediction is alarming. 
Elon Musk slams Jim Cramer's declaration of a soft landing. So we know that Elon Musk, based on what I showed you before, is not, it's not like he does not like Jim Cramer. I'm just going to say everything opposite of him. He obviously agreed with him through most of this year, but now, and I've always said this, that Elon Musk has probably the best sense of global the global economy and how it is doing than anyone, any single one person in this world because of all his businesses he has around the world that report to him on a daily. So, and he has the intellect to understand all of this, the supply and demand, the, the supply chains, everything put together, Fed rates, the, the, the central banks around the world and how they work. He puts it all together and he knows that there's probably some issues, but he doesn't want to come out and say, oh, everything's going down, everything's rough, because he knows the stock will get hit, everything will get hit. So this to me was a major statement. The Kramer prediction is alarming, he says. So, well, well, what was it? He's you know, basically that the interest rates have peaked and on the, the wind is no longer in our faces because inflation is getting tamed, price stability has been restored, the U.S. economy has achieved a soft landing, and the long-feared recession is not coming. So he declared that, all this, right? So obviously Elon Musk, when he says the recession's not coming, we are in a soft landing, everything's good, I think Elon, when he says what we just said, it's alarming, to me, this was a red flag. And I think a lot of people just overlooking the fact that Elon's kind of warning us Look, we probably are going to see some issues moving forward. That's what I kind of read into this. And the data tells me that too. And I told everyone here, and I'm, I'm watching this, that we have some issues out there. Now, I, I show you the bread recipe. And of course, I had a lot of people telling me, hey, Mo, how do I get the bread recipe for free? I don't want to pay for trading view, all this. We go over here, right here to Moomoo. Go to Moomoo. Moomoo gives you the, you can get the bread recipe, put in all the bread recipe, the EMAs, the RSI, the Bollinger Band, put the settings in there, and you get to use it for free on here. You can mess around with it, and you have everything that we have over here at TradingView. You can see the charts, very similar. That's the SPY, that's the SPY on the daily, and you got them. It's the same thing. So you can come on here and use the, the bread recipe for free with all these great technicals on Moomoo and you don't have to pay for it. And then the beauty of it is if you sign up for Moomoo using my link down below at 100 bucks, you get five free stocks. Family, you, I, I bring these things, I show you the bread recipe. Now I'm showing you how to be able to use it on, on the actual platforms for free. And you put a grand in, you get 15 free stocks. You can use the bread recipe and you can do all these good things. And you get free level two data with live pricing. You can read about that as well. 5.1% on any cash you have sitting around in there. This is awesome. So I did want to bring that up. It's a little station break there. Now, as I use this, people say, well, you're showing, it's easier on the eyes with the videos, okay? So I'm, I'm gonna show you this. I probably gotta get over here, fill in these candles, make sure they're filled in. Uh, I didn't go through all the settings yet, but definitely love it that you can get it all for free there. So now, as we come over here and we're checking this out, I did want to show you all this. Uh, the fear gauge is one of the things that I think people are overlooking. And you can see the fear gauge is at 76 right now. And that's extreme, or I should say fear. It's extreme greed at this level, which uh, one week ago, 78, now we're down to 76. I think we'll still have, and look at this. You can see it turning right here. You can start to see the turn. And will the market come down? And my answer, and I got to tell you, when you see this gap between the the 125-day EMA and where we're at now, that's huge. That's a way overbought. Just like it was way oversold down here, we're way overbought up here. And we're going to take a look at the RSI. So we come in here, and what do you see about the RSI for the SPY? We're up there at 68.40. So we're starting to see a little relief. If anything, I think you have a little bit of a push down close to 50 and then we can go back up. If it's a true reversal in a recession, we'll have a reversal under the 50. When does that happen? Well, I, you know what? I don't have a crystal ball here. My opinion was it would start to happen possibly, and I thought it would happen in Q1. Could be in the later half of January into February. By March at the latest is my opinion. Everything I'm seeing is that over the next 8 to 12 weeks, I'm concerned but not for the first couple of days of January. We know usually we get a lot of hedge funds buying, they're loading up, they're making moves, and that's the good news. And so I'm expecting some of that and put uh, the hedge funds and money managers putting money to work, and that should alleviate a little pain in the beginning. And for the TMF family out there, I expect this week to be very positive for TMF. 
uh, after what happened at the end of last week because of the banking and all these other issues that drove the yields uh, higher, uh, the, the idea is that we're going to see the opposite over this next week where they should be able to dip a little bit. And so we'll see if that comes true. If not, no big deal. I'll take it as a buying opportunity. But I am looking to buy on Tuesday. I think the markets close Monday, New Year's Day. And then Tuesday, I'm looking to take advantage of that and get into that. So for those watching TMF, uh, you can see we had a huge gap down. It was just ugly. It was a big drop at 1 o'clock when the news was released. And, of course, we had this consolidation. If you actually look, we, and if you go all the way back, I told you I'm not nervous until we get under $63 a share. If we started to fill this gap down to 61 then I'd be upset. I'd be upset. I'd be like, there's no, no reason for that. Uh, but right now it's doing exactly what I told you, that you're consolidating. The pressure has been dropping. Look at this. And I told you here that it was too high. And I said it usually takes three to four, maybe five to six before we get off there. Then we retest it again here. So then it's another three to four or five to six. And this was day six. So I would expect moving forward that we're going to see a reprieve from that. And we're going to make some money on our TMF plays and TLT plays. So for those watching with me, and I, I know some people said, I didn't get my, my dividend yet from TMF. From what I heard, the clearinghouse, uh, one of the notes I got was the clearinghouse issues that we should be getting paid on January 2nd. Uh, so I'm not panicking about that. It's all, it, it's just, even if I have to wait a little bit because of the holidays, that's fine. That's a great payment to get, though. I think it was 50 cents a share for all of us that are in that. So good stuff. Now, like I said, if you haven't joined the course, code MOE, all caps, take advantage of it. Link down below. Help my buddy out. Leave a note. He's writing back to people. He's getting his mind off of what he's dealing with right now. Throat cancer. It's just horrible. Anything you can do to help him, please do. And then come on over to the Stock Mo Patreon. Follow along with my new portfolio. We're going to be starting that next week. And the Stock Squad. You want all four of the... All four of us together. We got Keenan Gray, Stocks with Josh, Larry Jones, and myself, Stock Mo, in one place. Come on over. That's what I got for you. Happy New Year. I'll be back. Well, we'll be back tomorrow morning like usual. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.